everyone, it's me, Kat Graham. I am so excited to cook with Elle today. I am going to be making my own take on something that I grew up eating a lot of, which were burgers. A lot of people know that I am a vegan, so I wanted to do my own take on this very traditional American comfort food. I need scissors. Where are all my pots? I don't know where anything in this house is. Cookie, um, my mom taught me this. You go, extra cheese. Gotta let the air in. I have so much fun. I should have opened the cheese first. If you watch this, open the cheese first. My mom was a single mom, so my comfort food was a lot of fast food. And what I loved about burgers were the cheesiness of it. But I'm also somebody who's a very messy eater. I like to eat with my hands and it gets all over my clothes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you my newfound gourmet style of making this classic. Everything is vegan here. I have a smoked Gouda that I love so much. I have a provolone, which gives it kind of like a almost Swiss cheese vibe. I have my Beyond Meat. This burger is different. Everything from the bun is different. I love these pretzilla buns. I like to use fig jam and arugula, not normal lettuce. I'm having a couple friends over. Um, so that somebody can eat my burgers. For dessert, I'm making a balsamic glazed cinnamon sugar pear with um, rum raisin ice cream. And then also like a truffle pesto gnocchi. Super easy, you can just get it, put some truffle in, a lot of people think you're fancy. Let's do this. Maybe I'll start with these. I grill the onions with a, uh, like a cinnamon sugar to create a glaze. So they saute actually in them. And because I'm making four burgers, I will probably use up all of these onions. Burgers reminded me of times in the car with my mom while she'd be running me from school to the boys and girls club to dance class. And we would just just chow down on burgers, just on the way to wherever we were going. And I've developed a love for cooking because I didn't grow up having really a lot of home cooked meals. Also, not being able to afford nice food. The first time my mom took me to an olive garden, we uh, could never afford that. And I just remember sitting there in the restaurant just bawling my eyes out. Um, but I think I spent a lot of time trying to learn how to cook so that I could feel fancy. When my mom tried this last week, she was just totally, totally mind blown by it. So here we are. These are the beautiful onions. Let's see what I have. Where are all my pots? My mom also uses this kitchen and she's one of those moms that like never puts things back. So it's kind of like makeup cooking. I know it sounds weird, but it depends on what brush you use. You use a contour brush, which is different than your blush brush, which is different than your eyebrow brush, which is different than your eyeshadow brush. The same thing goes with your pans. So I'm going to put my onions in the saute pan with a bit of oil, probably about two tablespoons full. Just mix it, make sure that all the uh, onions have a little glaze to them. I'm going to put this on medium. Let's get some beef going. What I do is I split slab of the ground beef into four different sections. And then I split that into four more, cutting it in half. And then now my hands are, I should have opened the cheese first. If you watch this, open the cheese first. What I do is I just fold these in four. I break them up and I put little pieces in there. It doesn't seem very fancy the way I'm doing it, but I promise you it tastes fancy and that's what matters. Vampire. Right before I booked Vampire Diaries, I had enrolled in the Kitchen Academy because my mom was like, listen, you gotta get a job. This whole sleeping on my apartment floor thing is cute and all, but you need to figure out what you're gonna do with your life. So anyways, I enrolled in culinary school and I think it was a couple weeks later I booked a vampire diary. So 
in another life, I would be a chef. When I was younger, I did a Fanta commercial and I just remember gunning to this audition with like a burger in my hand. It was always about like go and rush and it's nice to have a twist on fast food where it's not so fast and you can take your time with it. Uh, makes me feel like I'm in a, a better place in my own life. While the onions seem happy, I'm going to put a little bit of cinnamon sugar. It's just a dash, maybe more. My hands are starting to get greasy. Okay, I need scissors. I don't know where anything in this house is. I'll just use a knife. I've actually never cooked for anyone, Elle Magazine. So this is something very new, but because I have been in quarantine and have had plenty of practice cooking, doing my hair and gardening, I feel quite confident. I mix the sugar in with the cinnamon. These guys are cooking a little too slow, so we're gonna raise the heat. And while you're here, here's some baby pictures. This is actually on my first, this is me. So this girl right here was eating a lot of fast food. This is actually my mom in the kitchen. You can see we had a tiny apartment. Um, not much room, not much of a kitchen. And you can see she's working and wants to know why I'm probably bothering her. All right, let's get into some tomatoes. Just cutting them. I need a different knife. Knives are also like makeup brushes. You need the right one. I'm going to give it a little truffle. And because you guys are here, I'm gonna break open my fancy truffle from Italy. <sighs> it was that hard to open. I do have arm strength, thank you. I mean, look at this. This is nuts, this is a real truffle. So we're just gonna put a little bit of the sauce. And you gotta watch out for me because I am half African, so I'll sneak a pepper in there if you let me. Just a little bit and put the jalapenos. Make sure you can see that. Come on, garlic, where are you? I'm not the most graceful chef, but I'm really good. Give my burgers a little garlic powder. Listen, I'm the biggest freestyler when it comes to being in the kitchen. If I think something needs more or less, I just do it. I haven't been on set, so I have to find a way to be creative and to have fun and to play with different colors. And I guess food and gardening has been it for me. Smelling so good in here. Four buns. And these are the only buns I have in the oven. Don't let the big Margiela fool you. In they go. All right, I just turned the heat off of all of them, but because I'm still keeping them on the stove, they are cooking, but the heat is off. For my friends, I'm making um, just a gnocchi pesto. It's super easy, super simple, but I felt like they needed a carb. I can't be the only one gaining weight on quarantine, all right? Sabotage my friends, too. These are super easy. I'm embarrassed to say I just pour these out of the bag because I sometimes don't have all the time in the world, even though I am on quarantine. But what I do, that's a wee bit different, as I'll actually cook it with truffle oil instead of olive oil. Gives it a nice little kick. I am a blood type that is very popular with the mosquitoes, and I live out in Georgia, so I need a lot of garlic. Have these sizzling. They're going to be ready to serve in a minute. This is just extra cheese. You can eat it, you can not eat it. You can put it somewhere for later. I have so much fun cooking by myself. My mom loves when I make this. This is not something, I guess this is a take on the fruit cup because for lunch, my mom used to always give me a fruit cup and I love the fruit cup. These are the pears in the balsamic glaze. She has kept this since I made it three weeks ago. So I'm glad I'm making some today so that we can throw this out. Gross. A lot of sets are very careful because there are so many allergies, but they don't use a lot of uh, seasoning. Everyone will just eat the same thing. And I'm not into that. I need seasoning. How people have hot sauce in their bag. Yes, I have hot sauce in my bag, but I also have truffle sauce. I am very much about flavoring. A lot of people eat for fuel. I don't. I eat for pleasure. I love food. I'm fine if I'm never a skinny model. I'm not interested in that. Life is short. 
for most of the time I will play a lot of music depending on what I'm cooking. If it's Brazilian food, it's Sergio Mendes. If it's French, you'll hear Edith Piaf. I take cooking as a whole experience. So here are the pears. And what I do is first I'll take a couple spoonfuls of brown sugar, let's say four. Next, some cinnamon, my vegan butter. This brand makes soy free. What else do we have here that I can use? I'm always looking around for like different ingredients. Oh, my favorite, the pear balsamic. Let it cook for a bit. You wanna make sure that you get them as covered as possible and they will have a nice saute to them. When I was a little girl, there was a ice cream truck that always showed up at Roxbury Park, which when we were living with my grandma, we lived on Roxbury Drive. I have a whole album, go check it out, called Roxbury Drive. Can you sit down somewhere? Okay, you guys. My dog, Pete, wants to say hi. She also enjoys my cooking, right? Yeah. By the way, So Delicious makes some really good dairy-free with coconut milk. Cashew milk is also really good. Oat milk is also really good. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to take a bit of your imitation rum. Cap amount should be enough. You just sprinkle a bit of raisins on top. I think my buns are done. First things first, I get my buns out. My vegan burgers truffle, tomato, jalapeno, and then put my arugula on the burger. It's okay if it falls off. My mom taught me this, you go. She's like, you gotta let the air in. Ah, you heard it pop, right? Thanks, mom. This is fig preserve, I love it. My vegan burger. Oh, you know what I forgot? Oh no. I forgot to put my onions. So excited to shoot with Elle Magazine, worried about how cute I look. Forgot to put the onions in here. That's the topper. I'm so hungry. Mmm! It's so good, you guys. I'm sorry you're not here. This is amazing. I now present to you my childhood remixed gourmet. So instead of the Kraft mac and cheese that I grew up eating, you know, the kind that you pour a little water in and you stuff it in the microwave, I now have gnocchi, pesto. I'm gonna eat it with my hands because the, I didn't even think of getting a fork. Um, instead of fruit cups, so now I have a balsamic cinnamon sugar glazed pear. And instead of the ice cream truck, which was like the highlight of my week. I'll make my own. You know, and sometimes eating with your hands just tastes better. I don't know, maybe it's just me. And instead of cheeseburgers, I now have Gouda-filled cheeseburgers. It's pretty wild how you can take the things that you had as a child and remix them for who you are today. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Make sure to check me out in Emperor and in Cutthroat City. I hope you guys enjoy my movies as much as I enjoy cooking. Thank you guys so much. Love you. Mom, I made it! Hey. That's a wrap.